Okay, so TV series. I don't know how many guys, like you guys, you watched any TV series for Batman? I did when I was a child. A child. I so, watched some of Gotham. Ooh, oh, yeah, that's, none of that. I, I quite oh, enjoyed oh, Gotham. I, I think I think I stopped like midway through season two. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm not even sure I got that. I liked some of what it was doing, but it was doing it in a very. This feels like a teen sort of thing going yeah, why do they do know. that with DC mm. stuff like DC TV know. shows it's are CW, all like teeny that's, that's aren't they the, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the teen program isn't it Superman Lois <laughs> yeah um, I felt it was a bit it was going a bit too that way for me and I just kind of tuned it out I think it was quite uh, yeah, I think it's one of those ones that's meant to get really good yeah it's, it's definitely sure. had its fan base didn't it like yeah. it seemed to have quite a dedicated fan base and they seem to like it, from what I've heard, it, it start it starts out as like the Jim Gordon show, and then they're like, "Oh, we need, we need to bring Bruce Wayne in and all the Batman yeah. villains." So we'll just do that. Batman, like Bruce oh, Wayne, so as a kid in, in that is just fucking annoying as well. He's just a little yeah. tyrant, and he. So I've got so much money, I'm just going to outbid you for everything. Ha ha ha! Look all the money I've got. It's like he's a wanker. Like I don't like him. Yeah, it's like the Monopoly yeah. man. Sounds like a child with money, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, to be fair. <laughs> they probably got child that really accurate, money. actually. Yeah. <laughs> I think the other one for um, me was the animated series that came out in 1992. That is like, in terms of cartoons, dated, of it? Like superheroes is so fucking good, and it's still really good. It's dated yeah, for you, because watching... you don't watch anything past like fucking 2020, <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> anything before that? I've forgotten. I've forgotten everything before that. Uh, no, I used to watch. I used to watch the Batman animated series when I was a kid. I used to watch the. Is it Batman Beyond the future one? Yeah. That was, mm, that, yeah, one. Really yeah, that was that one. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, they were but they were both basically the same thing, weren't they? Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Well, that, was... I think I think they were actually like chronologically linked, right? I think so, and then you, could have, that, you had some animated films that came off the back of Beyond as well. Because yeah. isn't Beyond, Kevin Conroy like... does the voice, and it just like, yeah, oh, and Mark Hamill is the, is the well. Batman. Cannon. Yeah, Mark Hamill yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. That, I think for me, like. Conroy and Hamill for Joker and Batman, like voice wise. Obviously, we're going to touch on it yeah. when we get to the games. Like, yeah, yeah, yes, please. <laughs> I actually like really didn't grow up watching the animated one. I think I was more into the kind of Spider Man and X Men cartoons. But oddly enough, I got into the other Batman animated series that came out in the like the two thousands, which was called the Batman, I think, as well. Oh, I don't um, remember that one at all. Yeah, I, don't I don't remember, remember that, that one. one. No. Oh, it it was pretty good, and like the. They really, they did like really unique character designs for all Sat, of the villains. I'm trying to act like he's not the oldest one. <laughs> 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 yeah, when I was uh, growing up in the naughty. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, you know, I've always heard the the nineties one is like prime. I feel uh, like you'd love it, animation. like even going back. Yeah, I'm it, sure I would. I, I think it's one of those ones going back that does hold up. Um, mm. I remember trying to watch a couple of episodes and quite enjoying it. Whereas when I tried to do the same thing with X Men, I went, "Oh, this is not as good as I remember." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the animation is a bit yeah. stiff in it. Yeah, because yeah. the uh, same thing. I think it's the ninety. Yeah, the ninety two one. They've. I watched it the other day actually with Catelyn. There's a episode called Mad Love, which is the Harleen Quinzel where she mm. falls in love with the Joker. But that's actually a comic book itself, like a fully contained yeah. comic book. And but the, wow. the artist and everything for that comic worked on the episode mm. so one if you didn't want to read the comic you could point out is it also came up with harley quinn as a comic yeah book. i was about to ask oh um, shit that, this, harley yeah, quinn is from comic. this animated series wow i actually i never knew that damn no yeah. i didn't know that why love is um i heard that they they drew on black paper um in order to like you know add to the darkness of the show which I thought was like a really cool little technique. It is dark as rock as well, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it looks Stabbing great. It, the, the art style yeah. is just so good. Like the not even just the characters, but like it's the backgrounds that are really impressive. Mm. Yeah, very gothic. Yeah, mm. very Batman esque. Very Gotham. It's funny that. Yeah. And of course, we have to <laughs> talk about the '60s show. I mean, that's that's yeah, the best. Yeah, we, we probably should touch on that, should we? The, oh, the, what the Adam the West most... show? Jesus, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. can't say I've seen. Pow! I don't. Think, I've seen like clips from it. I've not actually yeah. watched any of I it. I think I've always but... wanted to watch like at least an episode or two of. The I've original. seen the. I've seen the dance. The fucking <laughs> finger dance. <laughs> I've seen a Joker with a moustache painted over. <laughs> oh, Cesar Romero. Yeah, I kind of love yeah. that. 
But like, which is somehow the second that, some... worst mustache re- removal in. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at you, Henry yeah. Cavill. Uh, I mean, he didn't do it. <laughs> Fucking Henry, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill, you saw your top lip out, you dick. Why aren't you doing the CGI properly? Uh, I saw a screenshot of uh, Superman with that CGI, and I was fucking out. That's so it's bad. So man. weird. It like... makes his lip like. <laughs> yeah, like his teeth like. <laughs> you want them red lips? We're, we're all pulling faces. We forget this is a thing sometimes. We're all, yeah, the lip we're is all peeled up. up, basically. Yeah. I guarantee everyone else is doing it at the same time as yeah. you speak it. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. If you're on the bus, do it then. <laughs> Yeah, do it on the back row. You'll Look definitely get a free space. Look to the person next to you and do it. <laughs> Thank the driver. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I can't do it. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Quite teethy anyway. Uh, it was weird. Anyway. Was there any other TV series you wanted to throw out there? There's not like a time. Uh, is there any other? I can't say I can think of any. I can't there's, think of any. Is that? No. Can't think of any. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, nah, nah. There are more recent <laughs> ones, aren't there? I think there are more recent ones. There's but... a bat. There's a Batwoman one, isn't there? Yeah, the yeah. Ruby Rose or someone. Oh, the the live action, yeah. yeah. Back, back, back girl. Oh Batgirl? yeah, yeah. Batgirl. There is. Batgirl? Didn't yeah. yeah. They got recast or something. Like they re. So. Is that another CW? Yeah, because it was Ruby Rose. Mm, and I have, but thing. I don't. Is that attached to Gotham or is it? Thing. I have no idea. Uh, I could tell you. This no is why I didn't want to Say. talk about TV shows too much. Is this the one of those <laughs> things that's in the Arrowverse? Because I don't get that. Oh, well. maybe, yeah. Yeah, I think it's that. I think that's when it becomes a bit convoluted and difficult, doesn't it? We we've, we've, yeah. think we've discussed it enough with Marvel. When they do it, it's a bit like, ugh. It's like, oh my god. I Stop linking box. everything. Yeah, this is too connected. <laughs> okay, then we'll, we'll look at like, maybe some comics. I know... We're not a massive comic readers like the, all of us. I think Matt What's doesn't a comic? read from what I've learned today. But <laughs> I know that Addison has, Sam has, and I do have oh, no. some I comics. <laughs> this is our yes. small, in our yes. tiny collection, Batman is in there. <laughs> Shock, <laughs> Shock, yeah. one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The most obscure character to have a comic. So yeah. Before, yeah, before we go in, there's one actually I've not shown you guys. So when I went for the show into Odeon, they were given out. Yes! Oh, we got that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. yeah oh, I didn't the read. Fuck. <laughs> See me well. Get on there. <laughs> yeah, we were, Matt and I were coming out and I just saw someone in the booth. Matt was, Matt, Matt was having a piss, as usual. You know, as usual. Lo- After three piss. hours? Fucking hell, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, man, I can't blame you, to be fair. But yeah, I, I gave one to Matt and he was like, no thanks. And I was like, for the podcast. And he was like, oh, okay. I, I didn't read it good. still. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. It's like part. It's like Long Halloween, isn't it? Yeah, it's part, yeah. part of that. Which, is which I almost watched and then didn't. As in, it's an animated like an film. Of it, or... Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah it's, 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 it's a lot smaller than a usual issue. comic would be. It's also an animated know, film. They've animated it, haven't they? To um, like a big chunk. Yes, of the I didn't back. watch. A big chunk of the back is like other comics you can read. Okay. But it's incredibly thin. Like I wouldn't say. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a pamphlet, pamphlet. yeah, or a leaflet. <laughs> pamphlet. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, for <laughs> a freebie, it's quite nice. We'll take it. Yeah, no, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. It was, um, yeah. I was literally like, Sam just said, "Do you want this?" I was like, "Nah, <laughs> nah." I was like, "You fucking, you can't." <laughs> <laughs> like how you, you didn't. And expect then there's that, me either. missing out because I go to Sydney World, not Odeon, because I've uh, moved. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, now no. we, to be honest, we only went to Odeon because we couldn't book the fucking tickets at View. They were fucking Fuck full. Out. Yeah. The f- website was fucking broken. Anyway, we'll get to the Batman. <laughs> yeah, I think we can argue about uh, providers of cinemas. Yeah. <laughs> that could be a whole different... <laughs> another whole another topic for another hour. <laughs> <laughs> so our main topic today. <laughs> yeah, so in terms of comics, I know you guys... I think, Sam, you've got quite a lot, haven't you? Yeah, I've got like... Nerd. Four? Yeah. <laughs> Nerd. Quite a lot. It's got quite four. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've got four oh. comics in total. You can start your own library with that one. Yeah. Jeez. That's a lot for us, bro. That's four for more us, than Matt's got. It's a lot. <laughs> it's four more I than actually, I've got, yeah. I actually realised I hadn't actually read one of them today, so I was trying to power power through it, but it was it was hard. Um Yeah, so I've got Batman Year One, The Dark Knight Returns, which is what the one I realised I hadn't actually fully read. Um uh, Batman Hush and and Arkham Asylum. Um and I love the art style of Arkham Asylum. I've always wanted to read that one. That. So good. It that's like definitely the selling point for it. You just yeah. you f- like I had a quick flick through it earlier today. I was like, fucking hell, man! It looks it's, creepy as fuck. 
Oh yeah, okay. they they go full in. It's like horror imagery, yeah. wow. fucking joke. Uh, it, it's really good. That I would highly recommend that one actually, just for the art style. I, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I have a feeling that I'm gonna end this podcast and go on Amazon and just like order a bunch of these. <laughs> I mean, I mean, no one will be able to see this, but for your guys' pleasure, Google like, Arkham Asylum look comic. Look at this shit. Look at that. Look at that fucking and shit. There's a gold man. There's a gold man with wings. A gold man with there's wings. Man. Look at the front cover. There's a yeah, man. Joker. There's a laser Pretty eye. Cool. It's got a laser eye. Laser eye. They've been, they've been adapting quite a lot of these, haven't they, to films? I know the the, the killing joke, yeah. for instance, is one. I know that Addison. There's got. loads. There's um, Scooby Doo and Batman. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's Scooby Doo and Batman. And Batman. <laughs> Scooby- oh, is there actually one? Yeah, yeah there's some there weird crossovers. Is, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Because we mentioned this last uh, last episode, didn't we, about the crossovers? There's Batman and Predator, uh, yeah. Batman and Alien. Yeah, but there's also Scooby Doo. <laughs> that's that's kind of yeah. one thing I I oddly like about Batman is that he like the, with the comics he, he he can cross over in genres quite easily if you know what I mean and, and different art styles. Yeah, like, that um, is good. I feel yeah. like because he's got this. He's got the background of having the really camp versions. Yeah. But because of the character inherently can be quite horrific. Yeah. You can so easily yeah. take it the other way and do yeah. something like Arkham Asylum, which I assume is like that. Or go fully the other way and make it this campy sort of thing. Yeah. Um, he's like, it's not many other characters are quite like that. No, no, you couldn't really do that with like someone like Spider Man or, no. or fucking like that Power Rangers as well. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking Power Rangers. Yeah. Oh my god, there's a lot of Marvel stuff, which is yeah, uh, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That'd be fucking cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. he's like in terms of comics though. Like the Batman probably has the strongest run of like staple fucking. What is the oldest are, like, DC comic? Industry. Is it Batman? So we, um, I would say Superman. Or yeah, I he was in action comics, wasn't comics. he? Or was yeah, he? and then Detective Comics was Batman, yeah. wasn't it? Uh, um, but like, uh, I was reading The Dark Knight Returns, as I said earlier today, um, and that one is always the one that which you see a lot at the top of lists. Yeah, and I had to admit when I was reading, I was like, "Yes, yeah, right." <laughs> like, I, I think for its time it really changed the yeah. character yeah there, there's i find this is why i haven't properly got into um comics and graphic novels whenever i do read these really hyped up ones i do just have that kind of i think it's because you can get through them so quickly i just kind of go through it and go oh, that was it it's like, <laughs> yeah. making a bit more yeah. um i yeah. get why they're popular but because you, you a lot of these are so God. ingrained now anyway in what you know about Batman and yeah. stuff like that. Let's be honest, Batman's the only ones that I've read. So yeah. it's just stuff I already knew, but through okay. kind yeah. of like osmosis of yeah. all the other, yeah. other, other medias. Ones. It's a bit yeah. like translating to yeah. films and yeah. stuff. Yeah, like, Same um, here, really. That's like most did, of my current knowledge of Batman. I um, think it, I mentioned it. In, in the yeah. Batman, do you mean? Yeah, in the oh, most recent one, there was something that yeah. was said about Hush, and I was like, I know there's a comic book series for that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Hush is always one I've wanted to read as well. Hmm. Um, That's generally good. Is that like, I, the I, Batman who it. laughs or whatever? This is the first part. <laughs> is that the same thing? Um, no, it's not the same thing, is it? No, the man who laughs is what the Joker was. The man who laughs. Oh yeah. yeah, that was a film, wasn't it? Yeah, um, it's German silent expressionist film. Creepy. Okay. Uh, yeah. You see images of it. Google it. It's weird. It's um, actually awesome. Yeah, it looks like you can see where Joker comes from. Yeah. Don't yeah. <laughs> Yes, I th- I think there was. I picked up on the same thing, Mark. I, I think a few people have. Yeah, I think I've seen some articles. Uh, I, I it, see, it, it seems to me like it was just more of a nod more than anything. Okay, yeah. Which I already yeah. quite like. Yeah. It's nice for the audiences that have that knowledge. See, that's the sort of thing I don't like. Like, mm. You're just putting the word hush on... The, like, We'll get into it, the Batman, but you're just but, putting yeah, the word hush on the screen. It's got nothing to do with anything that I know... And right. it means nothing to most comment. people. Yeah. 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 It, it, so it's just like a uh, 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 hush, right? It. Uh, like, <laughs> it's like a little wink. <laughs> yeah. Wow, we put that but, in the uh. <laughs> Yeah. But I will say, honestly, like, it may be my favourite Batman comic because okay. It, okay. it's a real, Currently. like. Currently. You've yeah, only got because, four, Sam. Because, because <laughs> I'm go- I, the one I've got is uh, Batman and Aliens. 
That's pretty cool. Which is the I most... want to see the Batman and Predator but one. Well. I haven't finished yet because look how fucking big it is. It's huge. That's chunky. Jesus Christ, that's pretty chunky. Fucking Bible. See, that's it's what like... I want. I want something big. <laughs> oh, you big get Dark Returns. <laughs> Maybe I should. So I can't tell oh, you the ins and outs of what happens in Aliens and Batman, but pretty it's a crossover I've always wanted to see. He's always wanted yeah. to see it. That would be pretty awesome. I just want to. I think, that's I think the I one see. I read in like middle school, and that definitely shouldn't have been in my school library, <laughs> <laughs> which went from year four to year eight. Oh my god! So how would you have been? You'd have been. Well, nine, at most, that's like what six, up to eight. 13, 12? Yeah. Yeah. It's like twelve. Yeah. Definitely shouldn't have been in there. No wonder you uh, <laughs> seem stressed all the time, Addison. You just you've been That's through. That's probably lot. one of the only Batman comics I've read is Batman v Alien, and it was when I was like, <laughs> and it put him off for life. <laughs> Eleven. Like fucking hell. What's this thing with Batman's still? face? What's this thing hugging his? Yeah, why is he hugging him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's definitely something I would like to touch on, like going forward some more. I would, I think I'd pick up Hush at some point. Mm. Yeah, it, it's really good. It's got it's a really good like exploration of his rogues gallery as well. Like there's a, yeah. a okay. lot of the villains in there. Yeah, that's um, quite cool. And it has a cool ending. And yeah, I, I, yeah, it's fucking good. And then, I'd say one that does um, kind of hit the mark for me is the Killing Joke. Oh yeah, that is mm, fantastic, that is isn't a, it? That is a great one. That's one they've Adam adapted Moore? as well. I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I I w- had in my head it was Adam Moore, so you saying it just kind of confirms. Yeah, to me that I'm pretty is. sure it is. I haven't read that one, so that's pretty good. That, that one. is a good one. Yeah. I know the kind of story. Of is it is it year one we both have? Because I accidentally destroyed your copy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Year one. I, I th- that's a short one. Um, I feel like that might be what I'm thinking of when I was disappointed. Oh, really? Okay, Possibly. yeah. It's short. It is really short. Um, yeah, that I one was like massively it. hyped, wasn't it? I remember rightly. That's always in like the top three. Yeah, that's not. It's either that or Dark Knight Returns, which is the number one spot. You. I think that. I think one, with Year yeah. One because it so lends itself to an origin story. Um, it's what you always hear about when they're rebooting it, which happens yeah. quite often because it's Batman. Hmm. It's it's. I found like when I read it, like you could see how much inspiration um, Christopher Nolan took for Batman Begins. Like mm. it's like really, there's a lot of like stuff, pages of the comic just in that. Especially like the kind of focus on um, the kind of parallel path of Jim Gordon and Bruce Wayne. Um, it really dives into that. And yeah, you know, maybe I should read that one again because like you, you describing it, I just can't remember any of it. Yeah, I was when I first read it, I, I was a bit like you. I was a bit like, uh, it, it was fine. But I, I think I reread it a few years later and was like, oh, actually, that's that's pretty cool. And I can mm. see, like, how it inspired a lot of like Batman media. Matt looks bored. I say <laughs> 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 before, before we finish on the comic, the last one I've got is uh, Death in the Family, which is quite a well heralded oh, yes. one as well. Which is yeah. when yeah. the second Robin, Jason Todd, is it? Is mm. that his second Robin, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. is killed by the Joker. Oh, yeah, because yeah, some mystery person recommended it to you, right? That wasn't me. I thought it was Addison <laughs> that recommended it. Addison doesn't have any recollection of this. So. I've never read this comic <laughs> for sure. That's because he accidentally set it on on fire. As well. <laughs> <laughs> if someone lent it to me, did you burn it? It's like, oh god. <laughs> like, yeah, it was pretty good. This is my cup. This is I how think, Yeah, I think it was I good just, tender. I think I've missed. Seen it. Never heard of it. What is I, it? I think I misremembered it, and the reason why I picked this up actually was off the back of playing um, Arkham Knight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it was recommended based on the storyline that happens in that game. So there's kind of like some similarities that are shown in that comic series. So I don't know if we yeah, wanted to move on to some hoop. games. I think yes, we let's move on to games. <laughs> <laughs> when like, we, when we say games, <laughs> are we just talking the Arkham games, or are we talking? Hey, no, 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 no. We're, no, going, no, we're doing no, Batman no. Begins again. I'd say uh, <laughs> Arkham, the Arkham games are going to be the main, but obviously there's some ones around it. That, there are other there's games. like a Telltale games that I played. Yes, I've played that. I played that. Was that any good? There's two. Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah, yeah. I was always coming around going, "You should play that game. It's so good. It's better than Mass Effect." Who said that? So you want, if you're, you've got the earliest <laughs> ones, now, you want to kick that? off? Because I'm not talking about the janky fucking PS1 ones because they suck. <laughs> Thank you. We will yeah, be here do, forever I, if we talk about them as well. <laughs> I actually played the Batman and Robin one on the game. Bro. Holy shit! <laughs> and that was uh yeah. As in tie into the film or? 
Yeah, what? it doesn't freeze on it. it oh, doesn't... actually, I think you probably mentioned that last week, didn't you? I think so, yeah. It didn't render yeah. properly, did it? I think draw distances were like completely fucked in that game, if I remember rightly. My my young child eyes couldn't tell. <laughs> it was a classic. Looking back with his rose-tinted lenses, <laughs> yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Arkham games, I suppose. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, let's get into the meaty stuff. Let's go. So, the first one is Arkham Asylum. Should we go chron- we'll go yeah. chronologically, right? That's yeah, when did it come out? Ooh, should have it up. It must be about 2009. Yeah, knows his years, doesn't he? He's got it. 2008, eight, eight I reckon. Early. I remember I playing in sixth form, so that would have been like nine. No, it would have been nine. Yeah. yeah. 2009. Ding, 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 ding. Out, Little that's bastards. That's <laughs> you can just go, go on, on my mastermind and be like, film dates. <laughs> my topic is no, because as soon, as soon as they go like before the oh, 80s, yeah. I'm fucked. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You ask Addison what he did yesterday, he doesn't fucking remember. He'll tell you the year a game came out, though. It's impressive. <laughs> it came so out on spot. March 23rd. <laughs> day, day, month, and year. <laughs> and the time. And the time. I'm, I'm yeah. just good at assigning when things came out based on what I was doing. That's all. Yeah, it yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fair so enough. Arkham Asylum, I'd say, is probably the best one of the bunch. Oh, yeah. I would say in, so. In, oh, yeah. in, in my personal in. opinion, yes. Yeah. I like how contained it is. I think yeah. it's so good, and like it's Kevin Conroy, it's Mark Hamill, you know. Mm. Or better Do you know how good this game is? What <laughs> for for so an good. hour? I we going I to do interrupted time. Elden Ring to play it today. Ooh, Holy shit! shit that, that that's yeah. a good fucking game. Because <laughs> they remastered it, uh, not that recently, but they remastered it, didn't they? So yeah, the return. Yeah, they did like a little not the trilogy best. package, didn't they? Yeah, they did. I've not actually played that. I don't think the, um, they they. Imp- They've obviously remastered it, but I think the problem was they took a lot of like the stuff that would cloud the issues in the game. So like with um, okay. kind of, you know, in like in Silent Hill, for instance, when they did a remaster and they took away a lot of the fog, and you can start seeing, <laughs> oh, yeah. you can start seeing the shit that actually is there. That, they've kind of done that with yeah. to Arkham, but you can oh, kind of glaze over that based on the story and everything else. Yeah. In, in what game, sorry. If the return to Arkham, Arkham game, so Arkham Asylum and it's Arkham City because I was getting confused. The Origins City's is the one, one that isn't. It? Arkham Origins is the third one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Ar- Ar- Arkham Origins, Origins is the third one that's not canon. Well, yeah. it is Arkham canon. Oranges. But it's cool. <laughs> oranges. <laughs> Did I say oranges? Uh, it sounds like it. It's Arkham Clementines. Like it. I'm pretty sure there's pyramids in it, right? Pyramids. Pyramids. <laughs> no, no, I don't have the sound. Yeah, we should have it. I mean, Ar- Arkham <laughs> Asylum is just. Oh, it's so the good. Best superhero video game. It was so like yeah. still, I guess when I it came out. Played. When it came out, it was just like such a different sort of superhero game. It was yeah. kind of yeah. like it was really the dark. That... It was really gritty. The characters were great. The story mm. was was pretty awesome. Um, and yeah. you get to go around like Arkham Asylum, and there was such like it was quite expansive, I suppose, for for like you know for the asylum. <laughs> expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get that in a few so times. We have to pay you per time you said it's... it because fuck it. Yeah. 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 It's the been cancelled now. They're not paying People anyone. still call that <laughs> Arkham Combat. It's just. Yeah, yeah, that combat is it, like it, ridiculously awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not certain whether it invented that uh, combat system, but it definitely perfected it. I think mm, it, yeah, did, it did a good job. It, yeah, because yeah, even yeah, like I can't think of anything like else. Shadow. Of, I, I'm sure there was no Shadow of Mordor was after. I was gonna say like Shadow of Mordor took took a lot of inspiration from that fighting, didn't oh, it? Oh god, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah is uh, it Silent Dogs that was around this time? That was similar in terms of uh, combat. You know, I never yeah, I, even. I feel like it was afterwards. Even, really good. I would even argue that like Sifu. I have in my head that was Arkham. 10, though, Mark. Yeah, it probably isn't. It's. I think Batman probably was the. So it's obviously the biggest one, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So um, good. And, and it's like, got that sort of uh, Metroidvania sort of level exploration, yeah. which is, as we've discussed, something I love despite having never played a Metroid or a Vania. <laughs> I've got a, a story as well about this game. So the house I was living in my final year when I picked up this game had pretty shitty electricity coming through the plugs. It was a bit shoddy, and like if you nudged it, it might like kick the Xbox out completely. Batman fixed it. And obviously, you get to that you get to that scene where there's that glitch where you miss the quick time. Oh yeah, and it's glitching oh, yeah. out. I genuinely took the disc out. Like I turned the Xbox <laughs> off, took the disc out, did it in again. I I thought like my electricity had fucked up my Xbox. Didn't realize. I, I, I remember having the same feeling. Like, I was like, 
I mean, bear in mind, we, we're people who have never played Metal Gear Solid 1. We're not used to this meta bullshit in our video game. <laughs> So I did the exact same thing. I was like, what the fuck fuck is going on? (laughs) Your channel will start switching. (laughs) That's Hideo at the top. What the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) It's such an awesome game, though. Yeah, with, like, the Arkham games, for me, like, um, I played this Asylum, fucking loved it. Went into the second one, which is C. Yeah, Arkham C. Yeah, Yeah, that's 2011. Which is really good as well. That's really good. See, yeah, this is the one I don't get on with. Really? I played like two, I think it's three hours second and I just one, never played it again. Is this the one with Scarecrow or is that Origins? Uh, I was getting Scarecrow no, I think that's Night. Scarecrow's in the first one. He's in, he is in, in Night, the first but he, I think he's in the first one and then he's in Night again, isn't he? I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Night's he's quite, the main He's one, quite a he... big villain in the first one, isn't he? I, I think this is sometimes the like, you chain yeah. You do that... You do those missions. He's, he's a minor villain in the first one and a big villain. Is he though? Because you do those missions and he's like giant. Yeah, that's but what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Is it? Okay. Is yeah. that creepy yeah. part when um it's like the his parents' coffins open? Yeah. That's fucking like in the morgue, creepy yeah. as fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So good. Yeah. Of Scarecrow's oh, villain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, re- I recently great, bought the Return so to Arkham, so I'll be sitting and playing through I knew it had a long intro, <laughs> yeah. so I only put it on to play like twenty minutes to get past that, so I could just go into it at some point. I just kept playing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's I would a great love game. to replay it. Yeah. I, I I do want to play through them all because yeah, I just I didn't really play. I never played Arkham Knight. Yeah, I feel like Arkham I've done Knight's it. Good. I kind of don't want to um, do it again. It's it's similar to City, so City's I, I a more open world, I'm, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure why I got on more with Knight than City. I need I need to go back to City to kind of I think figure hmm. out because I feel like we're kind of in the minority in preferring the first one over City because that was the big one. When yeah, I, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was just. DLC, I think it was just more polished, wasn't it? That was that was what it was. Yeah. But, yeah. but yeah. I think Arkham Asylum was the first to like sort of establish it, I guess. So it's kind mm. of like it's kind of like why I love Mass Effect One, even though it's shit. <laughs> really, compared to he, nowadays. Has he games. dropped that in on every single topic so far? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm also I'm looking at Sam to, just yeah. wanting to kill Matt for saying his shit. It, it's not so great. Bit. The second one is like the best game ever. No, I'll admit, yeah. I, I tried to replay it and was like, I, I, I should leave this in my, in my memories. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Sometimes yeah. it is that way. But yeah. um, Black Man Arkham Asylum, I mean, I haven't played it in a while, but in my memories, it is like amazing. It's I like, it still plays pretty good. Yeah, it's the pinnacle. yeah going back, it like definitely <laughs> looks worse than I remember, but it's. Because still... I remember it looking amazing. It looked like, for the, for the time, yeah. I think the graphics were awesome, weren't they? But, mm. Yeah, going back, like, you, you're like, oh, yeah, this is 360 era. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying that detracts from it. It's still no. good. Yeah, and it has that. Uh, it has that kind of comicy style that kind of suits it. It kind of lets you forgive it more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Some yeah, good yeah, villains in it as well, isn't there? You got you got Bane yeah. in that one as well, haven't you? Bane, uh, Killer Croc, yeah. I think. Killer Croc, yeah, Killer yeah Croc, that's a pretty yeah. good one. Yeah, yeah. Joker, Joker. He is in the first Bane's one. Bane's first yeah, one. Right. Yeah. Um, I think it's it though, isn't it? Oh, there's like there's some like minor ones, isn't there? Like or, like. Sort but you've got side, Poison Ivy in it as well. Oh, Poison Ivy, yeah, yeah. You've got, like, Cal. Um, yeah. Mr. Freeze might even be in it, you know. Don't think he's in that one. Oh, no, is he? I can't, I can't. No, he's not in that one. He's in C, I can't right? Cool. He might be. That's probably the blend no, one of it. Yeah, yeah Peng- Penguin and Two-Face, I feel like, are the big ones from, like, Night. And Maybe Freeze was right in the first well. one. There's quite a few in the first one. But Freeze is pretty awesome in that. Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I find pretty cool. actually all the... <laughs> The villains really well, like the games in general. They just yeah. really like yeah. Yeah. hit them on the nail on the head. With oh, they do. Of them. Yeah, yeah, they're really good. Yeah, and they've got the Riddler. The trophy, films don't. Which is kind of perfect for a video yeah. game concept, really. Yeah, it is, yeah, it's yeah, like a yeah. Little, little side quest. Yeah, the little Riddler trophies. Yeah, yeah. There's some really good. I think puzzles it definitely well. set the tone for how you should play the superhero games as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because they're kind of yeah, like that I, concept. But I'd say the only one that's come close is Spider Man. Spider Man, yeah. That was so. Yeah. Long afterwards, yeah, massive. That's true. Long time yeah. Afterwards, yeah, yeah. But well, it's the one that, in others. terms of combat, I think. I think for me, I re- I remember going from Arkham Knight to Spider Man and being like, "Oh Jesus, the combat's really hard to get hold of." And now going back to the Arkham games, I'm struggling with the combat a little bit because I'm so used to the Spider Man one. Yeah, I imagine mm, it's more yeah, fluid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So where's the web shooters? What? God damn it! I need the web shooters. He does have like projectiles, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got the little. Some of the gadgets. Oh, some of the gadgets in there are so good as well. So good. Yeah. And then Origins like... is made by different. I never played this yeah. one. 
I did play it. Mm. I really can't remember it though. I think it's it was Toy good. Baker who does Joker in that one? Uh, uh, you might be right. Yeah. I feel like Mark Hamill didn't um, sign on for that one. Yeah. Did Troy Baker do right. Batman though? I thought he did Batman. Oh, he might have done. So, someone like that definitely did yeah. the Joker in um, one of them. It was someone else, yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear Troy Baker's version of the Joker because he's. I think he's it was pretty good. Voice actor. I, I think. Yeah, I think the consensus was, was, pretty good. was it was a pretty good take. Yeah. 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 Developed by Warner Brother Games. Yeah, and then the main villain that is Deathstroke. I want to say, but I haven't played. I feel it, like so I've I seen a lot of footage of Deathstroke yeah. in it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I really, I really can't remember. I've like erased it from my memory. Yeah, I which think is weird because I, I always think of well. Deathstroke as a Teen Titans villain. Yeah, he is. That's the yeah, only the TV show, yeah, <laughs> where he was called Slade. Slade. Oh, Slade God. Wilson. Yeah. Slade Wilson. Yeah. How is it, Slade Wilson? Uh, that was amazing. Because it was the Origins one that has like the spin-off as Blackgate on the Vita and oh, yeah, the yeah. 3DS. Fucking Vita again. <laughs> well, there's a VR it's game as well. When, yeah. But I don't yeah. know what yeah, that is. The, the Arkham that. VR as well that came. I think it was a couple of years after that it came out. Yeah, I think it's just called Batman VR, but I don't. I've never played that. I think because it's you like don't a great really touch on Blackgate, do you much in the games? Is that the prison? No, they, the they mentioned the prison a lot. Yeah, no, they don't. Yeah. But I don't, you might go there in one of the uh, C or I, but I can't remember. Maybe. Yeah. Um, Probably. I imagine you probably do. I oh, know there is one. You go start in the prison, don't they? Oh, fuck, I can't remember. <laughs> I think it's uh, uh, Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're, you're there's one that starts Wayne, in the right? prison, right? Yeah. That's Arkham City, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think you're I, right. I remember yeah. that because you're like trying to get, stop people from escaping, aren't you? Yeah. Because it's getting like yeah. blown the shit out of it. But I don't, I don't think that's Blackgate. I think it's because oh, they turned not? that it's section of prison. the city into a prison. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh uh, right. Yeah. That makes and sense. Then, and then obviously we've got Arkham Knight, which. That was pretty good. With the Batmobile, in theory, should have been the best thing ever. Yeah, the game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I, that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like hold it to that because it, the rest of it is all right. It's pretty good. Scarecrow is pretty awesome in that as well. It's that car is really bad though. I bet it is. I, I changed. I, yeah. changed, I actually bought a DLC for that so you could be the 1989 Batman. Got his suit and got the kind of the elongated Batmobile. Because I think for me, I prefer the animated well, series Batmobile. Turn your, it's like you can't turn your neck. Yeah, he's, he's, just, he's just walking around like <laughs> turn towards the enemy like. shoulders. <laughs> yeah. you are, you are. We mentioned this <laughs> last time. I don't, know, I don't know how you feel. <laughs> like for me, uh, the the tumbler for the Batmobile is great, but I really do like that stupidly elongated limo style of the earlier. Style. Style. I think yeah. the fact that no one actually calls the tumbler. A Batmobile says everything. It's great, <laughs> but yeah. it's its own thing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah. look like a Batmobile. Yeah. No. But this, this one of the. Oh, sorry. So I was gonna say it's one of the things I actually quite liked about you know the kind of like Batman uh, v Superman film was the Batmobile, and that was a good blend of like the Tumbler and the like, more classic Batmobile. Mm. Yeah. Uh, which I thought was pretty cool. I've still not seen them. <laughs> <laughs> Double. Yeah, I think right. for me the disappointing far, thing right? they allow you to buy the skins and the DLC like, to download these other vehicles so you can even play the Tumblr if you wanted to they allow you to buy stuff, it's so they... generous of them <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think the disappointing thing about you being able to buy the DLC is that you physically can't use them in the story mode that's really uh, that's uh, stupid that's what the fuck? because yeah. they don't assign the vi- like the vehicle Rubbish. with weapons so, do you not just have done something to yeah, come on all I wanted to do is be see... the original Batman that's all I want yeah <laughs> The OG. My Actually, weapons are my that would fist. be better. They do, I don't know if they offer that, but the 1966 one with like the basically it's a car, isn't it? It's just an open <laughs> yeah, top. Convertible. Yeah, pretty much, yeah, That would have been fucking sick. Just, <laughs> yeah, that would have been fucking Just whip him around. Like, In the Adam West costume as well. Oh my god. <laughs> that would have been so good. Wait, yeah, I think anyway. the, the other ones in terms of games that have come out is the the two Telltale series. Telltale, yeah. So it's Batman. Yeah, Bat- so the first I'm one's quite just interested called... to hear about. Yeah, the first one's just that. called Batman. What? Batman, the Telltale series, and then the other and one's like War- Warrior Within or something like that, is it? <laughs> Batman Within. <laughs> is that a Prince of Persia? It's a Prince of Persia game. game. <laughs> <laughs> it's something like that. I though, love isn't that it? game. Uh, the Enemy Within. <laughs> enemy <laughs> Within. <laughs> I was close. Oh, not much Prince of Persia Warrior Within. Um, yeah, so I, I'm interested to hear about these because I've played some yeah. Telltale games and got on with some of them. But I think this is this one. good. One of yeah. my favorite. Wolf Among Us is a fantastic Telltale. Wolf Among Us is great. Yeah, um, Borderlands Walking is a good Dead. 
is yeah. a brilliant one as well. And for me, Borderlands the, is a the good Batman one. one was like really enjoyable. These are the ones I actually have on Switch because it's quite an easy platform to to have it on, mm. isn't it? Really? Um, <laughs> yeah. Just click and play. Yeah. The, yeah, the story is really good. <laughs> you end up. It's interesting with the with the characters. They're kind of they're not quite the same as what you'd expect, I think. And a lot of them are like like Penguin is like totally different in this he's kind of like mm. he's kind of cool in this <laughs> he's kind of cool and the joker is kind of like in the second game you kind of like you basically make the joker and it's kind of like your decisions shape shape him to what he will be oh, right. mm. so, I think so, like a character creation yeah because you end up you end up <laughs> yeah, in, yeah, not quite you end like up that, in prison yeah. with him don't you there's that whole you do of, yeah you become you're essentially friends I yeah I like, oh, I like the way that that went it yeah. went with a different he, he's not the joker yet but he's on his way being the Joker. Ah, oh, that's yeah. really interesting, actually. Yeah, mm. but that's mostly the second game, right? I think. Yeah, and then you get a kind right. of a few other yeah. people I don't think I've really seen anywhere, like Victor Zaj, whatever his name is. The oh, one Victor that, like, he's yeah, in the, one the that, first like, Batman game, the Arkham himself, game, doesn't he? Every time he yeah. kills someone, he's yeah. in the first Arkham game. He's in Batman Begins as well. <laughs> well, there you go. He's he's definitely yeah. on the stuff that I've completely he's in Gotham. Mis- misremembered. He's in Gotham too. Yeah. <laughs> what was his name? Victor Zaz. Victor Zaz. Oh, okay. It's this got lots of Z's. I don't it's think got, he's got a, like a villain mate, name. It's got, it's got two Z's Vajazz. and two S's in it. I don't know how to fucking <laughs> yeah. say it. It's pretty weird. Yeah. I was like, Vajazzle? What? Vajazzle. <laughs> Victor Vajazzle. I think, and then before we what before name? we go over to the films, I think the other ones in terms of Batman, Lego, the Lego Batman's are pretty good as well. Yeah, right, yeah. Because yeah. the Lego Batman it. film as well, isn't there? Oh, that's actually... We'll probably talk about that later, but I fucking love that film. Oh, I've not <laughs> seen it. Yeah, it's Will Arnett, so I know it's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a great Batman voice. He's got an awesome voice for it. <laughs> Should we yeah, move, move over yeah. to the films then, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Fuck it. Start with Lego Batman, I guess. <laughs> Fucking Lego Batman. <laughs> that yeah. that is just it. so much fun. I love the way that film yeah. starts. It's like black screen, <laughs> black screen. <laughs> it's so good, man. It's just it's like, like lobster thermidor is ready. It's like an absolute parody of Batman, whilst being such an amazing Batman film. As yeah. Well. <laughs> and like, I love the whole um, the fucking part, man, when. Batman's telling the Joker like you're nothing to me and just like Joker's face just like his eyes welling up and <laughs> yeah. his face is good it's so funny who play- is it Zach Zach yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 okay that's pretty oh, cool. he does it he does it quite well yeah the rogue gallery they have in that they have like fucking Voldemort like Sauron like, just- <laughs> <laughs> they bring everyone in don't they so here you go you just take Lego. <laughs> Oh man, what a film! I, I just want to watch that right is now. That, is, so that the, is that the woman like Condiment Man as well? <laughs> it's something like that. Condiment <laughs> Man. Because didn't they? Um, <sighs> Lego Batman wasn't was he in the Lego Movie? He was Lego. Yeah, movie he was in Lego something? Movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before they made that. Um, oh, it's just fucking. It is fucking good. It really sets <laughs> the tone, doesn't it? I think what is it? I'd, yeah, say, I'd say yeah. other than the first Lego Movie is the only good Lego Movie. Yeah, yeah. That no. Although it's no Ninjago. Let's yeah, so Ninjago was all dinosaur. right, but I can't say anyone's <laughs> topping the list with that one, are they? <laughs> Ninjago. <laughs> yeah, because this is the way the film starts, and they're in a plane. They're like, we're carrying all these bombs over Gotham. Nothing could ever go wrong here. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Uh, I think that's what it is. You, you just kind of hit the nail on the head. It's like a, it's a parody film. That's what it yeah, is. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And There's someone having a medium to do that, whether it has to be Lego or not, is quite good. Yeah, definitely. I think Lego do quite a good job at doing that, don't they? Having that medium where you know it's kids are watching and enjoying it, but also the adults can have a laugh. Yeah, it's one of those yeah. rare cases where it can like hit both audiences, isn't it? Yeah, like any Disney film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Apart from Fantasia, <laughs> fuck you, Fantasia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fucking shit. Just for adults. I don't so know if I've watched the nineteen sixty six Batman. <laughs> I'm not yeah. sure. 1966. No, I, I think not. that's parts I've. That's the one I've seen parts from, which I, I think is it's just the TV series. But it's actually is that okay. the one where it's like um, shark repellent. I believe yeah, it's so. like shark repellent, it's fucking bomb or something like that. It's oh, so ridiculous. Jesus Christ! It's so funny though. I it's, kind of need to watch, watch it at some game. point just so I've watched all the yeah, Batman 100%. films. Yeah. 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 It, it's a laugh. You just have a fucking good time with it. You just like. Just, it's, yeah, it's, it's, you can to, it's totally yeah. taken yeah. to what we expect now. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I think they interesting to watch. I think like when you watch them, you, they are kind of like winking at the camera, and they they are. I, 
I, I think they are self-aware in, oh, they in must the same be. way. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, I, I think you could easily just be like, oh, it's 60s, you know. They, they were, it was always meant to be like campy, wasn't it? So it's kind of... Yeah. yeah, it's, um, yeah that's what they wanted, like, isn't it? I think it's they, kid, they right? knew. It's, it's yeah, picture, exactly. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it was always going to be that. And it kind of took, took we... to like Christian Bale, I think, to like get out of that, I think. Not... So, um, yeah, I think Val yeah, Kilmer yeah. and um, George Clooney during the yes. Schumacher days. So my, my, my okay, quick right, little right. update on this is yeah. I rewatched the Tim Burton to S- George same. Clooney era. Yeah, same. I stand by my Batman yes. Robin opinion. I also is... now believe that Batman Forever is the worst one, hands down. No, nah, I reckon <laughs> I reckon Batman Returns is the worst one. I fucking hated it. It made me oh, so that fucking I angry because I cringe. It's a Christmas it film. Fuck off. I just it's hate so that fucking one. cringy. The it writing is, is so bad. Apart from there's one line which is the best line in anything ever in Batman Returns. <laughs> and I have a soundbite of it. I have a soundbite. <laughs> and it's awesome. One. Which one is it? Hang on. Uh, is it Danny DeVito? No, no. Here we go. Just tell the police I was kidnapped by an ugly bird man with fish breath. Somebody say fish? <laughs> I haven't been fed all day. <laughs> Eat floor. <laughs> High fiber. <laughs> that is like the best oh line of any God. film I've ever heard of. <laughs> Fucking eat floor. High I, fiber. <laughs> this, this is the one that Christopher Walken's in. And it he is, has some yeah. amazing lines in this. Oh, fuck it. Who the fuck is he funny. in that? He's, He's um, a bad guy. Yeah. He's Shrek. Shrek, Max Shrek, yeah. Yeah. What? He pushes, <laughs> uh, is, I don't know, but... Pushes Catwoman out of the window. That. Selena Kyle gets yeeted yeah. out of the window by yeah. him. That's actually the only oh, bad yeah. thing he does in the film, I think. <laughs> Catwoman's actually no, like, pretty good in that one, though. The she? Michelle Pfeiffer it's, Catwoman, yeah. I think, is my favourite. It's person. fine. It's, it's She's like, fucking mental, though. She's crazy in that. It's so good. <laughs> it's so it's good. weird. It's so weird. <laughs> it's just yeah, it odd. I heard someone describe... Um, the first two someone said that the first one is a very good film that happens to be directed by Tim Burton whereas the second one is a Tim Burton film that happens to have Batman in it (laughs) yeah yeah pretty much it's mental that is mental honestly (laughs) but like like Danny DeVito as Penguin is awesome I think but He's like he Even proper goes for it. He proper goes for it as yeah. well. He does. I don't like the characterization of, of the no, in it. I no. Think I think it's awful, penguin, but I think but... he does it really well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they go with the full line of like he's literally a penguin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's literally a penguin. Yeah. It for me, I think it must have been it's like just, there's a yeah, shot did... of like the penguins carrying him, and the penguins are like five foot tall. <laughs> Fucking hell! They're like bigger than him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, just, oh. I, I remember with um, the first Tim Burton one. Um, this must have been like when I was just getting into like the Batman films, and mm. I picked up the '89 Batman and Batman Begins, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'll start with the '89 one." I watched it, and was like, "Wow, this is, this is a bit." I just, it just Michael Keaton's like not it. great, is he? It, it, yeah, yeah. I was like, "This is dated. This is dated." See, I love dated. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite Batman. The first really, one, yeah. oh. I, I'm excited to see him return. I think like, it's flash. one of the best, I, I, one of the better I ones of this that era. Late. I saw, yeah. I saw these films too late. I just can't connect with them. I think this one's better yeah. than the Joel Schumacher ones, but yeah. <laughs> Batman and Robin aside, <laughs> yeah, I think it kind of goes to like the yeah. original Batman, Batman Returns were for me. They were great films. I really enjoyed them. I like Returns for Returns the Christmas is aspect. Not. Returns for me, not a good film. And then <laughs> Batman Forever and uh, Batman and Robin are just campy, like goodness. Just love it. The problem yeah. with Batman Forever is it's fucking boring. I literally, mm-hmm. do you know, I watched it like a day ago. Cannot remember what happened in it. It's gone. It's so yeah. boring. Yeah. And also, it has like weirdly famous people in it. It's got, um, really? I think it's Nicole Kidman. It's, yeah, Nicole like, Kidman's love in interest. It. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Drew Barrymore is in it. She is. Who is she? Who yeah, because like? she's one of the. I saw her name in the credits. So I don't she's remember. She's like one of the Two Face assistant people. Yeah. Oh right. Oh, she's like she? the. Fuck. She's the good yeah. side, isn't it? Yeah. She's like the angel so what, the... and the, the devil, essentially. Yeah. Oh right. I think the, the the best thing to come out of Batman Forever is, of course, "Kiss from a Rose." I mean, which is the second oh, credit that song. That? That's the that's the <laughs> second credit song. It's not even the first one. 
Oh yeah, you have to finish the fucking. I did not remember that thing. The fucking credits to listen to that song. I did not watch the credits. That is definitely the best thing to come out of that film. The credits. Yeah, yeah. Baby. Fucking hell, Jim Carrey is is or is Jim Carrey in it? He's nineties Jim Carrey, like to a point. But it is it's pretty funny. I think like yeah, because I think um, Tommy Lee Jones as well does a really fucking good job in it. I think he's like Do you pretty think, awesome. I think he's yeah. shit in it. Do you um, know, I reckon he, he probably goes for it though. <laughs> I think he goes for it. It's a different he type fucking, of His makeup though, looks it? terrible though. His makeup is terrible, but he so fucking bad. goes for it. He's like proper like into it. He's having a great time. Just, I, I think it'd be unfair to com- it'd be unfair to compare this though to Dark Knight because it's a completely different type of Two Face. I think that oh, you can't. original yeah. one is very much this pulled out of a comic book, and the Gotham you're in is a contained pulled out of a comic book. I think that's yeah. what I really yeah. like about the originals, and they sit also really nice by themselves. But if you compare them to the Dark Knight trilogy, whew, those three films a different film. It's a different film altogether, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, you can't even. Yeah put them in the same just, genre really <laughs> no it's ridiculous the, the dark knight trilogy is just i also so i quite good. like val kilmer i think he's all right as uh as batman and bruce wayne i think he's okay he's, there. Sure. he's better than george clooney i think george clooney is shit he's face but <laughs> he, he is also just there <laughs> yeah yeah george clooney i just, is just love wank but yeah batman robin he's like hello freeze i'm batman <laughs> it's just like just george clooney's voice no like <laughs> just george clooney yeah <laughs> There's so many in Joel Schumacher ones. There are so many shots Nipples. of asses. Oh. <laughs> it's there are so many ass. ass shots. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's even more in uh, fucking Batman and Robin. Literally, start it and there's like so many butt shots. Yeah, fuck <laughs> It's so weird. Amazing. Yeah, great. It's that good Dark Knight trilogy, though. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think for me up yeah. until this point, I'd I'd already watched the Batman franchise up until this point. Okay. I really enjoyed it for what it was, but I think the Dark Knight trilogy took it in a completely... It was so dark, wasn't it? I think it Batman needed begins... to happen, I think. It needed the, the, to happen. The Dark yeah. Knight trilogy was so good, it made me forget that Spider-Man is actually my favourite superhero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's yeah. pretty good. Go ahead, yeah. For me, I think, like I said, so after I watched that 89 one, and I was feeling a bit down on Batman, I was like, alright, well I'll give Batman Begins a go, and I was like, fuck, yeah. yeah. I'm into I Batman. love Batman. So good. I feel like Batman's Batman Begins, Begins is like quietly underrated. It, I literally yeah. every time, time, every I, time I watch it, I literally forget what happens, and I watch it again. And I'm like, oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't know why it, I keep forgetting it. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't have as much of a stand-up villain as like Joker or no, Bane, no, it's but got, yeah, I think that's the thing. I love the Gotham Goom. in that. Yeah, yeah, and, and it has the best Batman fucking taking down criminals. Which we oh, must have so, that sound. Yeah, like. we definitely do. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right, that, they oh. never top that, I don't think. No, no. Yeah. Where are you? Here. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's always like, <laughs> at the end, which just gets me. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, can't, um, I, I, I agree I with you. I, lo- I love the Gotham in this film. I'm kind of annoyed that they didn't stick with it for the yeah. next two. Because it is mm. so... It's not very clearly meant to be like Detroit or New York. It's no, its own, no. It feels like its own different city. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Whereas, yeah. like you said, in Dark Knight, you're like, it just looks completely different. Like yeah. Chicago, yeah. kind of like it does. It's yeah, very much. Like, so. It feels very clean in the next two. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. It, it doesn't see. Is... It doesn't separate itself from other cities as it does in the no. first one. No. Yeah. yeah. That's and actually one thing with Joel think, Schumacher's ones, I think. They were actually, like, the city was better than the Tim Burton ones. The Tim Burton's ones was just a little bit, like, it was kind of, like, pretty obvious that it was Yeah, because it's, like, set. graffiti yeah. everywhere, isn't it? Graffiti, and then you've got, like, yeah. trash all over the place. Yeah, whereas the Joel Schumacher ones are a bit more, they've actually set up, like, on a, like, yeah, a city, a Gotham city. <laughs> <laughs> just the film. They've kind of they've kind of set up like a kind of like a city set, which kind yeah, of yeah. Aside from the fucking giant men statues everywhere, yeah, that yeah, so <laughs> weird. Men's, giant men statues, yeah, like massive gods. <laughs> Do you not remember that? It's so weird. <laughs> I haven't watched these films in years. They have a car chase down a <laughs> man's do. bicep. That, that's is that Batman and Robin? <laughs> Yeah, because that's yeah. when Batman oh, turns off um, Robin's bike, so he doesn't do the jump. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. It disables it. Yeah, but oh, we're, we're, we're on the Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's, let's talk about the because yeah, Dark Knight uh, sits what fourth in IMDb, like top. Two deservedly movies. so. It's, it's such a good film. I, it, my main complaint with that film is it goes on way fucking too long. 
I think yeah, all always... three of them are very long because I re I, when I, was, I re watched all of the Batmans up until obviously this most recent film, and Dark Knight Rises is like nearly three hours itself. It, it, it's, a, it's a hard oh, series to no. binge. Mm. It's not one you can really do in like one day. No. What do you, what? I'm interested to get your guys' opinion on Dark Knight Rises. To be honest, What's I like it. it. Yeah, I think I, I think, think it's a good addition. It's nowhere near as good as The Dark Knight. It was never going to no, be. No, no. I think I it's like a good it. trilogy. Like they, it's not yeah. like I don't think there's any bad films in it. I think it's it's yeah, fine. No, no. I think Bane is an okay villain. He's all right. Yeah, I I, I really like him until he gets offed, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is very the whole twist. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. Like <coughs> for me, I think rises i love like the first act mm. and maybe parts of the second act i love it i love that first bane fight with batman when he's when he gets his ass kicked and like the lack of music and it's fucking great it's good but, it's, the dialogue in there is amazing that. as well isn't it yeah oh yeah but every time i watch it i get to the second half and i just i start zoning out and the, like, the problem with the in. second half is it is very rushed Despite being yeah. in this mm. fucking long film, so they, they <laughs> yeah. do the healing his back, which is bullshit, and a whole separate other thing. Yeah, him getting like, back back into the city somehow, <laughs> and all that just happens so quickly. Mm. Um, yeah, Bane's voice is amazing, though, isn't it? <laughs> Bane's Bane voice is amazing, though, isn't it? It's good. <laughs> they definitely, they definitely should have, like, even just time wise within the film, space things out more. Might make yeah, it take up yeah. place over months, not days. Yeah, from, from memory. Mm. I remember like a common criticism was, "Oh, there's not enough Batman." But I actually loved the Bruce Wayne stuff in that film. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that as well. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm yeah. okay Batman not being in it as much. Yeah, yeah. Matt, I feel like you want to play a soundbite. Okay. Oh, I was going to do the voice, but okay. <laughs> He's just oh. going to do his own thing. <laughs> You've already done the voice. Like, <laughs> I did it for like that wasn't the quote though. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I did go the on. quote. Go right, on okay, then. Go. go on. I got, I got literally got a coke ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, it helps. You're gonna adopt in the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then, it was nothing to be but blinding. <laughs> <laughs> so it's I can't wait. how quiet it sounded to us. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pump that up in, in post. <laughs> yeah, it's because I'm talking yeah. to a fucking bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I got so quiet, but you could hear it though. Yeah, <laughs> I, I remember you loved that fucking Blinding. voice. When I, came out. I remember like what was it, second or third year, which is you doing that. Voice. It's because I, I remember do that. that. Yeah, it's because I could actually do that. That's my first experience yeah. with Matt. Like when we started playing games together before. Oh, barely adopted the dog. It was just Matt constantly doing it. Yeah, uh, exactly. and obviously I had no face it, to see at that point. It was just over no. there a mic, so it was like so he, yeah. yeah, he thought he was playing with Tom Hardy, and then he met Matt in real life. I mean, I've never I seen Tom Hardy without a mask on, to be fair, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah especially not lately. <laughs> I'm, even on the voice, I'm a bit divided. I think it's a great voice to do make fun of. you not like it? It's a bit. Do you it's know what ridiculous. it is? It, it's not even like the kind of thing he goes for. Because they had to make it. There was that whole thing when there was like test audiences and they couldn't really understand what he was saying. They make it so like, clear that it doesn't fit the. Yeah. It, fit, <laughs> it feels ADR'd. It feels really like yeah, not is. in the. It probably is. That's scene. why. Yeah. Well, it is. That's the thing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Whereas I feel like I, I, I think there's like an early trailer when it has the original one in, and that feels way more like within the scene, within the moment. Mm. Um, yeah, that's fair. So I think we'll probably skip over Batman versus Superman. Yeah, I, I, I don't I've like never Affleck, seen them though. in my life. I like, I like, I like not Ben Affleck to. as Batman. Yeah, yeah. yeah I wish he got more of a it, chance to be a fully yeah. fledged. Apparently, yeah, apparently, yeah. the script he wrote and was going to direct at one point for his solo film was really good. Um, and mm. even the director of the Batman um, said it was really good, but he wanted to do his own thing. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, I, but I would have been really interested to see what they, what he had. Yeah, it's um yeah because he's you know he's got a fairly good track record of like writing directing as well so I would I would uh, I would love to live in a not in the timeline where we got to see that film yeah it's a shame really isn't it yeah mm. um shame he dropped out but but yeah then we got uh, are we going to talk about Joker what he yeah we can touch Joker. on it 
No, yeah. I mean like the solo. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the King Joker, Williams, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heath Ledger. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger, Heath. amazing Joker. We haven't really mentioned that, but yeah, he was, he was It's really a good. very uncomfortable film, and I think that's yeah. what really stands out. It is, yeah. yeah. He's like totally... He's yeah. not He's not like the usual sort of Joker, is he? Like, No, yeah. my I, problem with it is it feels like a 70s film. <laughs> What a taxi oh, driver! Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. a remake of Taxi Driver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It kind of is actually, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, my, like, I remember. I think Matt and I we we saw it together, didn't we? Probably, yeah. yeah. And watched it. You know, was like, yeah, good film. I've never felt the need to watch it again. Cause no, I I've not. No, I feel totally like the same. I, I saw it. I saw it in cinema and haven't watched it since, and never yeah. felt the need to. One and done. And I, yeah. I also feel like Batman would fuck up that joker <laughs> like, how, yeah, how, yeah. how would batman even work within that universe yeah yeah, yeah i'd yeah, be yeah. kind of interested to see it but i don't know how it would work i just, just i think run that him over too much of an idiot really to fucking stand yeah. against batman yeah <laughs> no, he works no, in the context no, totally, of that film totally know what yeah. You mean, yeah batman would fuck that guy up. Yeah. Because he's, he basically starts his whole thing by accident yeah yeah, yeah that's true yeah yeah so I think it's a great film. I think it's an awesome film, and it's really like you know very highlights sort of mental health issues, doesn't it? I I, I am coming off like I absolutely hate this film. (laughs) You're not like you've done that before. (laughs) It's very well received, anyway, wasn't it? I I like uh, Joaquin Phoenix as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like his interpretation, and it's a, it's nice to see a new spin, especially yeah. after like Heath Ledger's Joker, yeah. for someone to come out and do their own thing. That's like wow, really impressive. Yeah, you fuck got, off, Jared Leto. You got De Niro in it as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> De Niro isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I don't know where like I know it's a little big comparison that gets happened that like, happens a lot is Spider Man Batman like. I think in terms of Batman films, they're stronger across all of them. Oh, totally. Mm. Than they are for Spider Man, mm. I would say. Mm. Uh, wait, no, actually, no, I don't know. <laughs> no. Yeah. no, no, no. Like, no. I would say the high points are higher. Yeah. But consistency wise, hell no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 hundred yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with this. I agree with that. Of course, I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Aston said like, Matt yes, and me agree. agree. Make a good point there, Twice. Aston. I know. I know. Yeah, it's yeah. Totally a new leaf. <laughs> um, no, I agree. Yeah, like the Dark Knight trilogy is better than like you know Raimi's trilogy, mm. but then you have Schumacher and even the Tim Burton ones for me. Yeah, I still think I, I'd rather watch. I, Schumacher I don't think I enjoyed any of amazing them. Amazing Spider Man. I could leave uh, Amazing no, Spider Man. I wouldn't watch. Yeah. No, 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 I no, would rather no. watch the Amazing Spider Man. I would as well. Forever specifically. Yep. I would watch it over <laughs> all of the old Batman films. Just clarify, yeah. Addison hates that. I really do. <laughs> I don't hate it. Like Apart from the does, soundtrack, I would rather watch the Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man over that. One hundred percent. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah, maybe not the second one, but the first one. Definitely the first one. Yeah, I think it's it's quite funny as well that there's been rumors raged. Well, it's kind of confirmed now that you know Michael Keaton was going to come back as Batman, and yeah. maybe there's going to be a few more. And then Spider-Man just got in there and did it first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it fucking... did, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how it would work though in the Batman. Spider virus. Should we move on to the Batman yeah. and then we can kind of discuss yes. Let's. our thoughts on the yes. film? So this the Batman is, uh, 2020. This is how do we want to do this? Do Rob. we want to do a re- a bit thoughts? Bit, what bit of a non spoiler. Yeah, I thoughts. think. Oh, yeah, to keep it totally non spoiler, I think. Okay. okay. So this is the Robert, yeah. Rob, yeah. Robert Batterson. Yeah. As people have been calling it. Bat- Batterson. 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 Yeah. Which I think is quite funny now because we've fully infiltrated the Supermans, like Superman, uh, Spider Man, and now Batman with British actors. Uh, right, I, I really <laughs> wondered where you were going with that. <laughs> that so we've taken over. In terms of initial pre- impressions, I yeah, I loved it. I think three hours was well, it was just short three hours, isn't it? It was very long. It was. Right. I did really enjoy I... it for the full runtime. I mentioned this earlier, yeah. right? I think this is why I don't like films very much or I don't like watching films because <laughs> three hours is too fucking long to sit down and watch a film I just do not have the patience for it I switch off after two hours I just cannot and I think that's my problem with films in general Wait, it's Lord of the Rings did you not like probably, it? probably is 
I no, I did really enjoy it, but then I kind of like got to two hours and I was like, right, I need, I really need a piss for starters. <laughs> and <laughs> what? <laughs> no, surprise, surprise. Do, do you know that you can get up and go for a piss? But then I miss things. Yeah, you're gonna miss. But it, you're not come... paying attention yeah. anyway. <laughs> All you're thinking That's about is that you need a piss. <laughs> that is a good point. Yeah, but no, I think I, I, I do agree. Yeah, back. I do agree that this film is particularly long. Um, there was a distinct point where mm. I thought the film was wrapping up. Oh yeah, exactly. Forty minutes later, I was still sat there watching this film. I know exactly, <laughs> yeah. I know exactly where you're talking. Um, yeah, and uh, the only other film that has done this is The Dark Knight. Because there's a <laughs> yes. distinct point in that film where it should be wrapping up, and 40 minutes later, you're still watching. Yeah, yeah, the bit with the boats in the yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the dark yeah. night. Yeah. 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 yeah, in this, yeah. it's something else that we won't mention. Yeah, definitely a part in the third act where I, I had the exact same thing. I was like, this is like the boats in Dark Knight. I, I'm, I'm kind of checked out yeah. at yeah. this point, and I would like this film to end, please. Yeah, <laughs> which it, sh- it should have done. I don't. It didn't I don't need know to be you... three hours long. It did not guys, need to be that long. You guys see it. Both saw this film Friday night, didn't you? Yeah, so the day it came out. I think out, that's yeah. maybe why I feel a little bit different about this because I saw it Sunday morning and I tend to watch to be honest, the films I in the mornings. To be honest, I didn't realise that was the release date. It's just the date we happen to be free. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's, that's um, and we, norm- we normally book, personally, me and Billy, we book films in the evenings to watch them. I know you do them in the morning quite often. Yeah, I think for like, me... It's I, just not something... You weirdo. I, no, I found a lot of showings, especially kind of we're in the centre of town, like if we go later in the day, it's normally absolutely rammed and then you've got the potential of people like just being loud or being on the phones. I found there's a lot of times people are just on their phones. It's like, what are you Someone doing? was laughing really doing? loudly in my one. It's the Joker. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's the Joker, yeah. So, so for me, I tend to go, like, we'll go in the morning. So we went in the morning to this. So in terms of length, it doesn't feel as bad, I don't think, because no, okay. like my day's just started, whereas for you guys, you're like, right, I'm going to go to bed now. Like, yeah. yeah. I wasn't, it wasn't like I'm, I was tired, though, because I had quite no, a lot of energy. Like, I, I enjoyed all of this time that I was watching it. It was just, yeah. there was that point where I was like, there was definitely bits where they oh, cut this has still got stuff to do. Yeah, right. Yeah, and it was that mental adjusting of like, oh, I, I need to sit here for a lot longer. Than yeah, I, I not, fully agree with I, that. I, I had difficult. to think about it, but I know the bit that you thought it ended. Yeah, I know the bit now. Yeah. I, I think most people will. It's quite yeah. distinct because mm. it, is, Cause it yeah. really feels like it's wrapping up, and then there's just yeah. more. Um, yeah, yeah. In terms of like the world building and stuff, I really enjoyed this. I going back yeah. to what we were saying about Batman Begins. I think this is the now my it, it might eventually be my favorite in terms of that world building but Batman yeah. begins currently is um and just that yeah. it's so immediate with that that whole starting bit with the shadows um, oh, where yeah. you think he might be in the shadow fantastic yeah. oh yeah that's amazing yeah, Love yeah, that yeah really really good bit. yeah so the fun- good the One- the way they use sound in this film especially yeah. with his footsteps mm. Fucking yeah, his, do it a few his times footsteps and yeah. his car. Yeah. Yes. Oh, this is like I, I, I don't normally go for car chase, chases in films, but this one, fucking good. It's shit. a good one. Yeah. It's a really good yeah. car. Chase. Nice car. Yeah, yeah. But it, it is weird when the car sort of because we we noticed it, didn't we? It's kind of like the car sort of it stood there and it kind of it like did, didn't it? you expect it to just fucking go and then it doesn't. Yeah. And you're like what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you thought it like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I picked up on the same thing. Yeah, cause Sam, you thought it like stalled, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, I think so it's well, meant to have. I think uh, I read someone say it did stall. Oh right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Not, but why'd they keep it? Without, in? I'd need to <laughs> watch it again. Yeah, yeah. With, without, you know, avoiding like spoilers on that part. But I, I couldn't tell if he was, if it was stalling or he was, kind of giving him a bit of a head start. Like, yeah, fucking go. It I'm wasn't obvious catch. though. It wasn't oh, maybe. obvious. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> they definitely cut things yeah. out of this. So some things didn't make quite so much sense. Like there's a bit with like rats in a cage on a person, and mm-hmm. they kind of cut around it. I think because it it's not obvious what actually happens, but I think they cut around it to make it a fifteen. Yeah, I agree with you on that. I think they did yeah. that on purpose. Mm-hmm. Though I don't think that was like a butchered to shoot. I reckon. No, I reckon I they think. filmed it and they didn't include it. Oh really? Because oh, I think okay. it, I, it felt like it was missing. Um, maybe once they do like a director's cut for like the DVD. Yeah, version. maybe. DVD because at Maybe, what point yeah. does it become borderline yeah. horror? I think that's the thing. Exactly, it's like, it's I think on that, that it's on the cusp, isn't it? I think with some. If they had included we, we that, were, it would be an eighteen hundred percent. Yeah, we were surprised when it was a fifteen. We we went in fully expecting it to be like a twelve A. 
Um, so when it yeah, yeah. the title card being fifteen, mm. we were quite surprised. So I was yeah. like, oh, cool. Um, I think it really rise that line of being like at the very end of a fifteen though, like there's oh, yeah. you know a, a few changes here and there, and it could have been an eighteen. I think like which I think they, I reckon they filmed white. most of that, and then they sort of cut it back. I, I maybe maybe they're like, planning yeah. on doing that like hard yeah. on cut. If you're that would be. Awesome. I hope they do because that would be amazing. Yeah. yeah, that'd be worth picking yeah. up, wouldn't it? Just yeah. for, for that life. would be awesome. Oof. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, um, I gotta mention the normal videography shit that um, rolls but, eyes. Um, but the camera work and the lighting was so fucking good. I think you said it was quite dark yeah. in the sound, but I, I quite like I like dark films. So it's like I, I thought see, the lighting that was a projector was really... issue, to be honest. Yeah. Also, yeah, there was, was like I was gonna on... say like yeah, ours, ours looked good. I, I don't I don't think no, there was also really on our dark. screen that we were watching. There was a fucking fire exit sign on the left, and it was bright white. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was like the that's fucking bat so symbol. Annoying. Yeah, it was like the fucking bat symbol. <laughs> I also, you know, this practical shit with the telescope and whatnot. This bat symbol will only work if it's cloudy, won't it? Like, any bat symbol will only work if it's cloudy. If it's <laughs> a clear it's sky, you cannot see the bat symbol. <laughs> <laughs> with the light pollution in Gotham, yeah. this wouldn't work. I mean, I think the light pollution helps probably with the bat signal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Actual pollution helps. Actual yeah. pollution, yeah. <laughs> oh. um, I love, I love like, the... Yeah. I, like speaking of the kind of griminess and the and the mm-hmm. pollutedness of it, I, I love how you can see the clear inspiration from like Fincher films, like especially like Seven. Oh God, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, hundred percent, yeah. It's fucking because awesome. very detective. And also, one, isn't it? Which is do quite you nice. think anyone's taken a look at the Zodiac Killer on this film potentially? Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a yeah. Bit. <laughs> oh. Is it? It's a. It's an awesome take on the Riddler. I. Yeah, it is. Like, it's different. I, yeah, yeah. it yeah. makes him really creepy, and I like. Yeah, it, it was because you was... kind of see him. He's quite charismatic, and like most of the stuff you've seen him in, like Arkham games, he's quite charismatic. In, yeah. in the Batman Forever, he's quite charismatic. It's kind of nice to see him. Like he's actually kind of more, more absolutely deranged, deranged and, and serious. And what I liked about this is he didn't come across as like a Joker ripoff. No, no, exactly. yeah, yeah, which yeah. you could have easily, yeah, yeah, it could have easily. Been, yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that could have been really close, actually, couldn't it? If they yeah, yeah. yeah. It I, I, th- I think yeah. the Riddler like, often comes across as a bit of a Joker light, but in this, yeah, yeah, he is, yeah. and I quite yeah. like that. Especially like it could have so easily fallen into that trap because um, like, this is in the trailers where there's a lot of him kind of filming himself, you know, mm-hmm. on a phone, and. When I when they played the first one, I, I instantly thought of the Joker moment in Dark Knight when he um, yes. sends some footage to the the news channel, and I was a bit like, oh, you know, is that is that treading that kind of line? But no, I think yeah, he, I think he, it he kind made of, it his own. Yeah, I think also it's kind of like more because it's modern. I guess it's supposed to be modern, isn't it? But yeah, it was weird. It was kind of like felt like it should have been in the fifties, and then at other points it was like, oh, this is like current day. Yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah. I think that's yeah. the what Batman does quite well is riding that is. sort of like anachronistic mystic sort of line where yeah, yeah. things are incorrect now batman is the same that's exactly as we what are the, yeah uh, <laughs> does. yeah 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 oh uh, yeah oh, we have to talk about colin Farrell. yeah i was about to say that's literally yeah. was well, i was just about to say. so good i yeah. turned yeah. Yeah. i loved yeah. didn't realize i turned to her and said that yeah no. colin Farrell. yeah like, same with us so I, i'm not sure i would have realized if i'd known like, i think no, because it just looked like other actors Whose name I can never like, remember. It looks like I, I thought he was doing a great De Niro impression, to be honest. <laughs> That's how I, how he was I, pretty funny. I was laughing it? at yeah. some of the season. I was like, yeah. oh, he's like De Niro. You could have put That's him in any someone's Godfather laughing. film. Yeah. <laughs> Is he getting a spin off? Have I, have I heard that? Yeah. Oh, there's like a TV right. show, aren't they? Doing a TV show for yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that, a, is, that a, is that like another Gordon one? Um, yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Which is it, Jeffrey Wright? You played him in this. Yeah, yeah, I really yeah. enjoyed him. Who was I really liked him. Yeah, so good. He was really good. Like, I, yeah, I'd really, say really everyone good. in this I really enjoyed. There was yeah, like, yeah. Didn't yeah pretty much. Zoe Kravitz yeah. as Selena was, I think, a great yeah. choice. Yeah, as yeah. Well. yeah, yeah. Even um, John Turturro as Falcone. I was like, that was yeah, who I had no idea was yeah. in this film. No, 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 he didn't. No, he turned up. I was like, oh wow. And I thought he was quite interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, it's quite. It's most, probably the most detail we've had for Falcon. You had it in like Batman Begins a bit, but it wasn't like major in that. Whereas it quite, it quite yeah. kind of no, was. Nice. And Circus yeah. as well for uh, Alfred. Oh God, yeah. Wish he was in it more, but uh, yeah. That's so yeah. gonna be my point. Is like he was basically a supporting character of that. Yeah. Yeah. Although I instantly bought 
uh, that he had like a military or special services history. Totally, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like you could just tell. Like it was, he had like, it was such a subtle detail. It's like a scar on your eyebrow, but it's like, yeah, this guy's a badass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy knows how to fight. I've seen Lion King, I know what I happens. did keep thinking of uh, Claw <laughs> from Marvel. So I did keep Oh, Ulysses Claw. Yeah, yeah, with the waistcoat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do we think of um, Robert Pattinson as Batman? Yeah, bit, very, right. emo. Yeah. very emo, yeah. very emo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly I think he's quite. I, I, he I think he's quite a young Batman. I'd be interested to see how if they do another one. Then it would be interesting to see how they sort of develop yeah, a bit more. So he yeah. says he's two years in at this point, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's yeah. quite young. Yeah, yeah. So, we we uh, were saying that it would be interesting to see where he goes and if he mm. gets that Bruce Wayne persona going a bit more. Playboy, that you kind of expect. Yeah, because um, yeah. yeah, everyone's surprised when they see him hours. Bruce Wayne, Bruce, Brucey boy. Yeah, yeah, he's a bit of like a uh, hermit, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, I think I was speaking to Matt and let's about this. There, there was one shot when he was Bruce Wayne topless, and I was a bit like, yeah, skinny. He's skinny. He's a bit skinny, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's an attainable you know, for some Batman. Reason, <laughs> for some reason, I thought that Christian Bale was skinny when he did Batman, but then I saw the Batman Begins today, actually, and I was like, no, he's not. He's, he's actually pretty <laughs> fucking <laughs> unit. <laughs> no one, no one can see Matt on camera because, yeah. look, Matt is jacked right now. That's why he thought he was skinny. <laughs> <laughs> or I, I wouldn't say in the suit... Uh, in looked, the suit, he looked great. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's kind of like, can he actually punch someone that hard? It was, <laughs> yeah, maybe that's yeah, part kind of, of his persona. Like he puts padding in so everyone thinks he's bigger than he actually is. So yeah, yeah. Maybe, like, yeah. I think he's, more, part of the he's more agile though, isn't he? I think that's the kind of style they're going with yeah. as opposed to it being this massive punch, like Haymaker style. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm glad he wasn't like um, Ben Affleck. Affleck? Affleck. That's my muck up of the week. Um, <laughs> Batfleck was a bit like... Comic, more comic accurate, but yeah. quite. Poof, you know. broad, <laughs> very broad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then add, add <laughs> I, I like how um, I like how unhinged this one kind of is with the way he yeah. fights. Yeah, yeah. It, it just it felt grounded. I, I am kind of hmm, a little bit tired of this grounded Batman. I kind of want to go. I want to see these like weird villains that. He's yeah, kind of, yeah. Like, done on like Killer Croc and um, shit like that. Yeah. yeah, stuff like that, but they're just mm. never going to do it with these grounded Batman. No, but no, no. At the same time, I can appreciate what this is for what it is. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy it. Where do we think in terms of placing? If you were to like rate all the Batmans, would it be up there? I think for me, it's coming close in like the top three. It's yeah, it's with it. It's within the sort of Dark Knight yeah. trilogy realm. Definitely, yeah, I would. I prefer it over Dark Knight Rises. I'll say that. Yeah, I, I, I would say I probably do as well. Um, yeah, I think it's. I think quite I need to watch it again. To... I think I need to do. I did. Yeah. I did a Sam, and I yeah. kind of like went away, and I thought I had to think about this because it, it is good. But <laughs> yeah, it's one of them ones I've sat on yeah. for a little bit. I, I don't yeah. know how highly I want to rate it. It's, and a lot, a yeah. lot happens within. That I think I need to see it again. Three hour runtime that you kind of need to digest. And I think yeah. watching it yeah. again will help with that. I need to watch it again yeah, with definitely. with an intermission. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you can I, th- pause I think it. I think I one thing it, I preferred that's that my this problem. did. It, one thing I preferred that this did was the detective work. Yeah, that was yeah. really good. Really yeah, good. it was. It, that. that was kind of like Arkham esque. Actually, I thought I felt it was kind of like you, yeah. you're doing a bit because that's very you, you do a lot of detective work in the Arkham games as well, don't you? So it was kind of nice to see that in the actual films because yeah. you know with Christopher Nolan ones, there's like pff, almost no detective stuff is there. Really? No. Uh, yeah, and whenever it is, it's all tech based anyway. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'll just scan the environment and it'll tell me what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shit like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was kind of nice. <laughs> before we uh, close out the episode, Addison, how did you feel about the uh, surveillance contact lens? <laughs> Oh, I wasn't contacts. a fan of yeah. seeing it go in and out so much. Yeah, that, that happened quite a lot, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just turned like, the camera. I was like, Adson's going to hate that. N- none of the eyes. I was like, this is, this is so... my life. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'd want to put camera one, contact lenses in my eyes. I feel like that might be a bit too far. I feel like they'd be really fucking itchy. I feel like oh, really yeah. heavy. But I feel like normal contacts would be really itchy as someone who no, they're not. has never had to wear them and never will. <laughs> they're like a. I don't know how they, you can't feel them basically. Don't Only care. Eyes. Not coming near my eye. <laughs> Fuck off with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. We hope you enjoyed listening to our tepid take. 
If you want to send us your tepid takes, then email us at thetepidtake at outlook.com. And give us a follow and a like on Instagram at the tepid take. And we've been uh, the fucking, what's it called again? Is that a good place to end? Batman. Yeah, Batman. 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 I never knew. I don't know. I swear to God. Swear to me. <laughs> swear to me. That's a point. I did actually quite like his Batman voice as well. A bit mumbly yeah, at right. times. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Was, yeah, yeah. Not as ridiculous as Bale's. <laughs> no. Swear to me. Swear to me. Swear to me. You were a part of power. I'm not wearing a hockey mask.